I really love that I can make the products and I now have the knowledge to be able to make them. Since I left high school, I was uh, always, uh, it fell into administration. <laughs> Not something I always loved, but I uh, was good at it until I um, ended up with uh, RSI injury. Then after um, losing my position due to that injury, not healing, no matter what they tried. And then I had my little girl. My daughter developed eczema um, and had super sensitive skin. And while I was breastfeeding, the strangest thing was that when she became allergic to something, within a few months, I'd become allergic to it. So that led me to find somebody who was in to making natural products and learning more about tox-free living. And so I learned a little bit and went online and saw some recipes and things. And then I decided it would be a good idea to actually learn something properly. And doing research, I found the School of Natural Skin Care and decided to go and do um, the certificate course to begin with, just to get an idea of whether or not it was for me. Learning a lot through that, that just went the appetite then. So <laughs> I went on and uh, did the diploma um, so I've almost finished that I've just got to submit the assignments and I've learned so much through that course that I yeah, now make all of my own natural skincare. I really enjoyed all of this the science learning how the skin works to why the skin doesn't work at times and getting getting into learning about all of that was brilliant and then learning how to make the products learning what ingredients go together and what don't go together through through the um emails and things that came through i did discover the the club um so i decided i'd become a member of that and see what was in there and i've learned a lot through there as well with the extra courses um particularly the mini courses on uh, pricing and product photography I do all of my own photography, using nature as much as I can in my photography to getting started. So I feel very um, amateur, I guess. <laughs> uh, but that's going to take a lot of practice. So. I really love emulsions now that I've finally mastered them. It took me a while. My first few were a bit um, hit and miss. But once I discovered the right blend of ingredients, I really nailed it. And now I've um, got hand and body lotions and hydrating body butters that I absolutely love. Being all natural products, because of the sensitive the sensitivities, my daughter's also just been diagnosed with ADHD uh, and ASD. Um, so there's a lot of sensitivities there with regards to diet and what goes on the body and into the body. So having everything as chemical free as possible is the best for her and the best for everybody else. I try to keep everything as natural as possible. If I can manage to keep it as eco-friendly as I can, using organic where I can. And if there are locally sourced ingredients, then I will use those if possible. It's really built my confidence a lot. Um, my family have a lot of eczema, dermatitis and things like that. So we've got like skin conditions everywhere. <laughs> so deciding to make products for those conditions to assist with you know reducing itching redness and and um, alleviating the symptoms as much as possible has really given me the I suppose the uh, the drive to gain the knowledge and through that it's given me the confidence then that I can make these products that I can experiment it's okay if it flops because that's how you learn and if something hasn't quite gone right then I've been able to then just go back and have that knowledge to be able to review it and go well where did I go wrong what do I need to change what could be better or the product works but I just don't like an aspect of it whether it's the feel of it the smell of it and then how to go about fixing that and and create altering that formulation to then be able to um, create that product that we really love. I really love that I can make the products and I now have the knowledge to be able to make them. You know, the shower gels, the bubble baths, all the funny, co the coloured things that my daughter absolutely adores uh, when I make foaming mineral bath soak but add mica powder to it and make, and make what I call bubble magic. <laughs> And anything that I experiment with, it's like, do you want to try this? She's like, yeah, what colour do I get today, mum? <laughs> I love that I can create that joy in my family, in my daughter. I, I enjoy 
that I can help people, any any other people that come to me and say, you know, I've got this problem or my kids have got eczema or what what can you suggest? Um, and, you know, obviously you just got to say to them, look, not everything works for everybody. You can try it and see what happens. If it works, great. If it doesn't, then you're going to have to keep looking until you find something that does work for you or your child. For anybody out there who is looking at the same sort of situation where they have a skin condition, their children or other family members, and they're not sure what to do, absolutely look at the course because that will give you all the knowledge that you do need to be able to gain that confidence, to be able to make the things for yourself and and to be able to find everything that you need ingredients-wise because the course does cover so much internationally, which is fantastic. It's given me the knowledge to know where to go, how to look for the products, how to look for the ingredients um, using the inky names and things like that, to, rather than the trade names, to be able to search them in my location. I do have a brand name. I'm KP Natural Skincare. I do markets and things at the moment. So I do I do sell my products at market. I am building a website. So it, it is up, but um, I need more. I need to be able to get time to put more products on it <laughs> into the shop. So that is a work in progress. I've got a Facebook page. Um, so friends and family are all on there. And I found a lady in another state that just randomly found me and it, the products are helping her son so she's she's very happy yeah building a product line at the moment i've got a baseline of anhydrous products and i'm just building in now the emulsions to to add into that and really start building a a a, col- a, a core and a solid range uh that's that's the uh the hydrating body butter which has the colloidal oatmeal and other ingredients in it to really help hydrate and soothe the skin, especially for irritable skin. I've got the hand and body lotion. This one here is the uh, creamy vanilla. I really love the vanilla. Um, I've got another one that's strawberries and cream. It's absolutely adorable. I <laughs> uh, love the foot and heel balm. Oh, so I use that on my feet every single day. It's amazing um, just what these basic ingredients going together can just create other than that my friends really love my lip balms I don't have those here at the moment but um they say they don't need to use them anywhere near as much as they use a commercial one um even my brother says the same thing he came to me very surprised and said wow I only put it on a few times a day <laughs> so I'd say see, see I do good things <laughs> got other other products obviously out there as well like the foamy mineral bath soaks and um the, the bubble magic for the kids, the, the main thing is shower gel. Um, my, my daughter loves the shower gel. And the, the foaming hand and body washes, um, we especially take we take those camping because they're so easy to wash off the skin um, and you don't need a lot of water. So if we're going out where there's no running water and we've got to take our own in a big jerry can, then we need to make sure that we can use something that's going to conserve that water. So taking those products really makes a difference. The whole journey has meant so much to me to be able to provide for my daughter um, skincare that she can use that doesn't irritate her skin or, or give her what looks like chemical burns, poor little girl. So being able to provide that for her has really been a joy, really a huge confidence booster, um, learning to be able to do that and provide that for her and then being able to provide it for others has really um, provided that drive. Being somebody that has uh, permanent injuries and um, two types of arthritis I needed to also then find something that I can do at home that I can do from home that I can set my own hours and work around my body so being able to do that that's really given me that avenue to be able to look at things I can can do and something that I can now grow into an income stream and hopefully in time be able to support my family using my um, my brand. Um, well, I guess my vision is to develop something that can take us forward into having a, a good, solid, full-time income for myself and my family, being able to provide for my daughter, uh, being able to continue to work around my health, um, and that way support my health 
I guess that that's probably the biggest thing and to continue having that joy in in making these products I love that creative process I love to formulate which is something that I never thought I'd say um, I used to just love making the products and then um, I thought oh gee formulating that sounds super hard but now that I've really mastered it it's like wow I love this process I really love sitting down and working out the numbers and working what what going to work together so I really enjoy that so it's given me that passion and that drive to have something to love to do and that's what you need when you're um, going forward especially when you're getting a little bit older and getting into the mature age range um, is you really need something that you love to do that um, something that gives you that passion to get up every day and really enjoy it and that's that's my thing really I suppose my passion for the future is to keep that alive keep that passion and keep that joy in in doing what I do and and hopefully then have that grow into that brand that will give our family plenty of income to be able to provide what my daughter needs with her conditions as well mm-hmm.